Hey, Vaya Mayan Yedin. We are so lucky. We're lucky because we have a drive. We're lucky because the push that we have in our lives is to understand Tyra. That's everything that we are. It's to understand Mamari Chazal. It's depth to have such a strong tfisa, such a strong grab on the insights of it. And if you're like me, I, you want to get there. Like, eventually, you want to get the clarity, right? I mean, you want to have it. I want Fatechal Kainu Basarasecha. I want to have my piece of Tyra. How do we get there? There's this incredible story. I cried by the story. Reb Moshe Shapiro never really shared stories about his life when he was younger. But when he did, it was awe-inspiring. So he shared one time on a Purim about when he was much younger. He was a little child and he and his friends were playing outside of Panovich, the yeshiva, Eretz Yisrael. And there was a blackout. Nobody could learn, so everybody moved out of the Bet Midrash. But he and his friends felt, hey, this is an opportunity. Let's run inside and go in the base midrash, uh, play hide and seek while it's dark in there. They go inside. The entire Bet Midrash in Panovich is black. It's dark. There's one old sage, one old yid sitting in the corner. When they come in, they hear that old yid saying a mimer of Chazal, saying just one sentence of a Chazal over and over again and again. Now, he said as a child, he thought it was so funny. He's just saying that same sentence over and over. He said as kids, we began laughing. It was funny. But then he didn't stop. He kept on saying it again and again and again with that sing-song tune of the Bali Musser and again with that beautiful melodious voice and again and again. <laughs> And we stopped laughing. We all became serious. A few more times, and we all began crying from that Maimur Chazal. He said, I gave a look. That old sage, it was Rav Dessler in his older years. I want us to think about this for one moment. They were affected by it because as a child, you can still get the purity of a Maimur Chazal and it goes directly into your soul. Rav Dessler, as an old, wizened sage, a man who has been molded by Musser, it would also find its place within his neshama. But what about you and me? The only way that'll ever affect us in our life is only if we keep ourselves pure as the child or keep ourselves in control as the great Baal Musser. The next time that challenge comes, I want us to stop and to think to ourselves, do I want Tyra? Don't want it in me for real. The only way it ever truly affects us is if it comes into us from our childlike demeanor of being pure by having the control of the great Baumuser. <laughs>